Welcome to my channel. My name is Olayemi Ojo, also known as Mama Mama. Today, we're going to be cooking and talking about best breakfast for diabetics. When you are sleeping, your body is in the fasting mode. So when you lie down and sleep, your liver is working on your behalf. It turns glycogen into glucose, that is sugar, releasing it into your bloodstream to prevent blood sugar crisis. So when you wake up, you signal to the liver not to produce sugar any longer. This is one of the important reasons why diabetes, type 2 diabetes, has to eat breakfast. Also, type 2 diabetes has to eat breakfast because when you eat breakfast, you help your blood sugar to be under control throughout the day. When choosing breakfast, you choose good carbohydrate from complex carbohydrate, you choose good fat, and you choose protein. So today we're going to start with egg, which is protein, olive oil, which is good fat, and we're going to put some pepper, bell pepper, and onion and mushroom. Which, are, which have good carbohydrates in them. They have minerals and vitamins also in them. So we're gonna cook omelet. We put the oil in the, in the pan. Beat the egg and add salt. into the hot griddle which is uh, on medium high because you don't want your egg to be burnt so you don't you want to put it on a temperature that is accurate and adequate and then once the griddle is hot and the oil is hot you pour your egg Let it cook a little bit. Once it's, the edges all around it is solid, you know that it's getting real well cooked. And then you pour your vegetables. The vegetables are already sauteed and put in this bowl. I have about one fourth of a medium pepper, red pepper, and uh, one fourth of a medium green pepper, some uh, onion and some mushroom, all sauteed, tenderly cooked. And that's what we are going to use to make the omelette. Now, the bell pepper, the green bell pepper and the red pepper have about three net carb, net carbohydrates in them. And mushroom has four net carb. So we're going to use that. When you're choosing any of your any of your vegetable or when you're choosing your breakfast, choose vegetable that are very good in carbohydrate.
four. I have four eggs here. This will be a serving for two people. Egg that uh, we eat, we don't want to eat too many eggs, especially for those who have high cholesterol. You can also use, you can also use some egg white. This is what we have. That's for two servings. You can use egg white for the rest of the week because you're not supposed to eat more than two eggs with yolk in a week. So for those who have high cholesterol, you want to watch out for that. You can use egg white though because egg white doesn't have cholesterol. Only the yellow yolk has the cholesterol in it. That's our first breakfast. So. We're going to move on to the second one, which is pancake. You will say, oh, can diabetic eat pancake? Yes, diabetic can eat pancake. Except it's not going to be pancake with white flour. It's going to be pancake with almond flour. Almond is a nut. You grind it into the flour, into powder. And mix it with two eggs, some milk, some baking powder and a dab of salt a dab of salt mix it together and fry it like a fried pancake it makes very low carb pancake for you that would be another suggestion of a breakfast a diabetic can eat another one that a diabetic can eat is Cereal. We all miss cereal when we when we become diabetic. First thing we miss is our cereal because you can't eat all those cereal you buy in the box. They are high in carbohydrate. They are high in sugar. They are high in starch. You don't want to do with that. Because all those carbohydrates with starch, when it gets into your bloodstream, it turns into sugar. And the sugar pile up in there, it causes you complication. That's why you as diabetic stay away from those box cereal. Then you say, well, can we eat any cereal at all? Yes. Here is a cereal that is made out of shea seed. Shea seed is packed full of fiber. And it's very creamy. You see how creamy it is. Very, very, very creamy. And you just take one quarter cup of shea seed. Shea seed with one and a half cup of any milk you want. Normally, I recommend nut milk, which is very nutritious and doesn't have high carbohydrates like the regular milk. 
you use that you use one and a half cup of that with one third cup of chia seed the recipe will be in the description below now the only thing with this is that you have to wait you can't eat it right away you have to wait at least one hour for it to set because the shear seed the shear seed is going to swell and become creamy after an hour mostly i do it in the evening i let it sit overnight and eat it you add your nuts any kind of nuts you want i have almond nuts here and i have some pecan nuts that i have as leftover from the other day put it also in it if you have some flower seed you can add that and add if you have sugar substitute you can add about one tablespoon of sugar substitute just to give it a little bit of sweetness. That's what it looks like. Then when it's set, after it sits overnight or at least for one hour, it's set. That's what you get out of it. Mm. It's crunchy, it's creamy, and it's filling. It has a lot of fiber in it, which is good for diabetic. And it has that sweetness to it that is not sugar, it's sugar substitute. The next suggestion of breakfast is hash brown. Cabbage hash brown. You just saute your, you wash your cabbage, chop it, saute it, meaning brown it slightly in the oil in your fry pan and pour your egg on it. It makes you good hash brown. You will enjoy. It has good Carbohydrate, it has good fat with the oil and it has the protein with the egg. That's another egg dish. Also, you can use your leftover from a previous night. If you eat steak or chicken, for instance, you can use tortilla, low carb tortilla. I always buy mission low carb tortilla. Cut the meat into strips, brown it with bell pepper, red pepper, and green pepper with onion. Put it in between the tortilla and wrap it. That gives you a good wrap for breakfast. You can also have smoothie. For those who are interested in smoothie, yeah, it's a delicious smoothie that is very creamy, very creamy, and it's made out of avocado, some nut milk, which is almond milk, a dab of vanilla extract. That's what I'm trying to say. Vanilla extract. You put a little bit of it in it and, and a half cup of yogurt, Greek yogurt. You want to make sure that you get the one that doesn't have sugar. And you put half cup of it in there, half, uh, half avocado, half cup of Greek yogurt, and half cup of milk. Blend it together in the blender and you get a creamy mm, yogurt avocado smoothie. 
That's another breakfast you can have real quick before heading out without costing yourself of high carbohydrates or high sugar. So you have different ways you can create your breakfast without having to run into high blood sugar spike. This food will not spike your blood sugar. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please click like, thumbs up, so that the algorithm can get it distributed to other people who will need to hear this. Also, hit your notification button so that all the videos that I, that I uh, upload can come to you. And share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Thank you very much. See you next video. Bye-bye.